So welcome into Lemo's Lounge for another day. And I'm very excited today because we have one of the rising stars of Australian comedy joining me this morning. Uh, she is absolutely hilarious. She has done a... Uh, she's on the tail of a brilliant show last year called Million Dollar Tegan. This year, the show is called Touched by Fev. <laughs> Tegan Higginbotham, good morning. Good morning. It's such a ridiculous title. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a brilliant... I love the title, Touched by Fev. Uh, now, people will obviously be curious. Yeah, yeah. I will make it clear. I've not... I've not been touched by Brendan Favola. I do mean emotionally. <laughs> right. He, he emotionally touched me. I, he was my hero when I was growing up, but um, yeah. no touching. Okay, very nice. <laughs> but you have, uh, since coming up with the idea for the show and writing the show, you have met Fev, haven't you? I have. You? I spoke to him on the phone and um, yeah. we went and had coffee. So did you, when you met him, did you shake hands? Well, actually, oh, I guess I, guess so, I have been touched by Fev because I've hugged Fev. Oh, so, hello. No, hello. It was a, no, it was a very, it was a very... <laughs> Did you keep your distance? Was it a tight embrace? <laughs> it was like embrace? one of these ones. No, it was an in public, people watching, totally <laughs> people, above the now board. Now it's getting, but there were oh, people God. watching. Oh, God. It's weird. Um, yeah. No, no, it was a lovely, it was a lovely hug. <laughs> It was a lovely hug. It's going to go downhill. <laughs> there we go. Now, and what was his reaction to the fact that you were doing a show about him at the Comedy Festival? Because I imagine Fev, who's been the victim of a lot of jokes this over the years, the would have been very circumspect. I think um, he actually made me feel a little bit bad because when I first spoke to him, yeah. he kind of just cut me off a bit and he was like, oh, look, you can write whatever jokes you want about me. I'm fine with that. And I got this impression that he knows that people take the piss out of him a lot. And, and he's heard it all before. He's heard it all yeah. before. And I think he thought that I was just another person there to make the usual Fev jokes. Yeah. Um, but I, which I'm not. And I do want to discuss other things relating to him. But yeah, yeah I, could, I could just hear it in these voice, just this tired, like, yeah. yes, you can make jokes about me. It was a bit sad, actually. Yeah. yeah. But when you explained that you're actually a genuine fan and yeah. he has played a role in your life. Yeah. Did he, did he warm to the idea? Well, I think he did. And I think it was also when he realised that I am actually a comedian and I think um, he sort of saw that there was a little bit of credibility there. And yeah. I, I tried to stress to him as well. And I said this right from the beginning that if he said I couldn't do a show about him, I wouldn't have. And, yeah. um, and that was why I was getting in contact with him because I didn't think it would be polite to name a show yeah. after somebody <laughs> and do it especially when with the world with social media it's so small these days he yeah. would have found out no doubt and yeah. the idea of him finding out that somebody's doing a show about him and being angry like that was really horrible for me well, so particularly when he's a hero of yours as well, well. exactly yeah will I'm Fev be making a guest appearance at your show i don't know i've um I asked him if he'd like to come, and yeah. you know my room. I'm, at, I'm performing at this place called Spleen. It's very small. Yes. And Fev said that he'd feel weird seeing the show, and I completely understand Absolutely, that. Absolutely, yep. So if he doesn't come, I won't take that personally at all. But uh, now that I'm into it, I, I kind of want him to a little bit. Is there somewhere you can hide him for the show and then surprise people with well, him? Well, there, there's not much of a... I kind of could. I've actually thought about it a lot. There's a curtain up the back and most people sit in front of the curtain. Mm. And behind the curtain is the pool table. So if he wanted to sit, you know, next to the pool table and hide out there for a while, <laughs> if that wasn't too demeaning for him... Yeah. I'm pretty I'd sure be... Fev's hidden that in a bar before. <laughs> <laughs> or the Helen Pub, was it? Um, <laughs> I think he could do it again. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'd be very happy to have him. But I haven't heard from him since I've started the show. I sent him a nice review that I got, which right. kind of pointed out that I was nice to him. And I was like, see, see. Uh, well, it is four and a half stars in the Herald Sun. It is a brilliant show that you absolutely should see, not just for Fev fans, not just for Carlton fans, but for comedy lovers and for mm -hmm. anyone who's had a hero in their lives at all, there at are all. connection points right through. Because you talk a lot about having heroes and I do. people well, you I look up to I had another hero, um, Harry Potter, you know, <laughs> which goes hand in hand with we, Brendan Favola, I yes. think. So, yeah, there, anybody who's had a hero, you will find something in the show. The show is called Touched by Fev. Tegan Higginbotham, thank you very much. Thank you.